Okay. Now, the other thing is, is, is there evidence that fluoride is harmful? Now, if you put in um, harmful effects of fluoride search on your Google, it will come back with, or at least mine did, with it can cause AIDS, allergic reactions, Alzheimer's, arthritis, asthma, ADD, bone fractures, osteoporosis, cancer, bronchitis, colic, Down syndrome, emphysema, gas, irritable bowel syndrome, harmful interactions with medicine, heart disease, increased infant mortality, kidney disease, low IQ, pineal gland problems, reduced fertility, SIDS, and thyroid problems. When I went to, I, my source of information of is this all true was I went to the ADA website, the American Dental Association, and there was a little section in there where it was shown where they were refuting this saying that these assertions come from old research or research that has been, you know, disproven because of the way it was done. Uh, either the sample size wasn't properly t uh, monitored or of appropriate size or there wasn't enough follow through to see if anything was actually um, true. So as far as all those things go, no, fluoride is not a problem. One thing that can happen is if you have too much fluoride, you can have what's called fluorosis. Now, fluorosis is something that happens when the teeth are first forming, and it's basically a disruption in the enamel of the tooth where the enamel has like a little white spot on it. Now, if it's fluoridated at the right level, this is a very rare um, occurrence. But it also requires that if you're going to fluoridate um, the water, that the parents of children are made aware that, okay, make sure that little Johnny or little Jane does not swallow their toothpaste, does not um, drink their fluoride rinse, um, and does not take um, fluoride from other sources. So that's something that most of the time it's preventable, and usually if it shows up, it is, you know, a minor aesthetic issue, not a, um, not a disease factor. And in fact, teeth with fluorosis are much higher, have a much higher resistance to decay than anybody else. The other question that sometimes people, or a statement that people sometimes make is, is fluoride a toxin? Now, toxicity is definitely something that's related to dose. So at the level of 0.7 parts per million, which is the recommended level of the fluoride in the, the water system, it is not toxic. If you take a lot of fluoride, yes, it could be toxic, but the, the level we're talking about is way below any level that is toxic. So in this case, no, fluoride is not a toxin that we know.